give it up, everybody, one more time for Rihanna. I think I said that right. Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're doing well because um, it's only going to go downhill from here. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm about to start performing. Oh, sorry. I'm getting the signal that I forgot to introduce myself. Hello, my name is Pooh Boy, and uh, this is my band, the Dung Beatles. Needless to say, we have a slight tendency to play songs that go do do do. I think tonight, though, to fit the theme, we're gonna do the uh, the piano number, yeah. Kick it up a little bit. Alright. Yeah, you guys might know this one. Top 100 hit in the early 2000s, I believe. Don't be afraid to sing along if you know it. And, um, ideally, this song will remind you of that, uh, special someone in your life. Or, if you don't have one yet, then, um, I don't know. There are some lookers in this club at the moment. <laughs> I don't want to point any fingers, but yeah, you never know. So maybe look to your left and look to your right, and maybe you'll find that special someone here tonight. Oh, wow, that rhymed. Hopefully, though, we don't have our eye on the same person. <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay. It was a little something like this. It's a brand new day, so come on and play In a world that's waiting for you We're about to begin, so come on in There's so much to do at school And you can do anything if you try With friends like Timothy by your side There's a new adventure In everything we do We'll all be together And you can come too When Timothy goes to school Anything can happen when Timothy goes to school. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are very kind. All right, well, everybody keep your hands together for the undeniable Missy Elliott. She's gonna keep the vibes going for you. But yeah, thanks again. It is always an honor. You think so? Well, I kind of like her name. But turd herd could be more marketable. Oh, hold on, I gotta... Oh, excuse me, sorry, I... Oh... <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. It is far from the first time someone's poured their drink on me at this club. No, no, it's fine, really. And, um... Mmm, you have good taste. Much better than any cologne I could buy on the market. No, 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 it's alright. Just a quick stop to the laundromat, that's all. Tell you what, how about you make it up for me by letting me buy you another drink? I mean, I just think it would be a shame for you to spend the rest of your night thirsty. And, um, maybe I'm pushing my luck here, but could we also talk for a little bit? 
I mean, I know I don't know you, but I'd love to get to. Truth is, I've had my eyes on you all night, cutie. So please, just let me take you. Oh, you're adorable. I think I would like to keep you. Oh, but don't make it too easy for me. Oh. Alright, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. How about we just start with a drink then? Does that sound alright? Okay. Here, take my hand. I know the bartender. Yeah, what's going on, T-Pain? <laughs> well, looks can be deceiving. Even with this puddle on my shoulder, I doubt you're having a better night than I am. Uh, yeah, just uh, one glass of whatever is on my shirt here. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not for me. It's for a uh, sexy one embarrassed over here. Oh, is that what the drink is called? Duly noted, thanks. And yeah, just the uh, usual for me. Well, I wanted to know so that I can order it for you next time. Thanks. Yeah, just uh, add it onto my tab. Okay, I think this is our order. It was two love potions, right? <laughs> Alright, here you go, Katie. Cheers. Mmm. -hmm. You know what? I actually think I kind of like your drink better than mine. Based on the little taste I got of it earlier. Yeah, it was sweet, but not too sweet. And, um, also got a bit of a buzz on it. What was it called again? Your drink. Mmm. No, I remember it. I just wanted to hear you say it. So, what is a cute little puppy like you doing in a place like this? Sorry, I just always wanted to ask some sort of variation of that. And it, uh, seemed appropriate. Don't get me wrong, you, uh, you look the part. Definitely, but... I don't know, I just get this vibe that Maybe this is your first time here? Yeah? No, that's great. Stepping out of your comfort zone, that's, uh, that's commendable. I just hope I didn't give you a bad first impression of the place. To give you some reassurance, I don't always go on stage. Every now and again, a good musician steps up to the mic. Like, uh, what would you say? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I want to know. I like hearing your voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been singing here for a little bit. Maybe a month or so, give or take. Yeah, I love it. It's so much fun when you're up there. Ever since I was a kid, I, uh, I don't know. It just always felt more right than anything else. But most importantly, it, uh, it helps with the whole dating thing. Yeah. You would be surprised by how many poor souls walk in through those doors and are completely fooled by the whole front man facade. 
I've seen my fair share of boots climbing out of the tour bus back window. No, I'm kidding. Well, there was this one time. Um, bit of a long story though, do you, do you mind if I tell it? Okay. So it was a bit early on in me singing here. I was about to go on stage and at the time I existed in kind of the intermediary between being completely comfortable performing and being totally trepidatious about it. But it was only one song, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So yeah, I'm just going over it with my band, making sure everything was as it should be. When all of a sudden, this absolute bombshell walks through those doors, right? One of those moments where it feels like kind of everybody's heads turns at the same time. But strangely, there was this look of nervousness on their face, almost like they felt as if they didn't belong or something. Which was odd because everyone could vouch for how gorgeous they looked that night. And um, you know when you observe nervousness in someone, I feel like there are two natural ways of reacting to it. With the first one being you kind of take on the same emotion yourself. So you go, that person is nervous, that makes me nervous, right? Or you can have the opposite where you see somebody who's nervous and all you want to do is protect them from whatever is making them feel that way. And this was the second one, definitely. But before I could act upon my instincts and walk over there, I was called upon to go sing. And there was this split second where I debated between myself, like, is it worth it, you know? Should I throw my whole career away right now for just a chance with this person, right? But um, thankfully, cooler heads prevailed and I, uh, I went on stage, did my BS or whatever, but I was so not in the zone because the entire time I was just praying that nobody would have the, the cojones to go over and introduce themselves before I did. So thank God they heard me and when I finally finished up, um, <laughs> This is a bit shameful, but I kind of had it down to a science at that point. So I took a second, calculated the trajectory of their walking cycle, and made it so I would bump into them right at the perfect moment. And as luck would have it, they actually, um, they actually spilled their drink on me. So now I'm totally in there, right? They might as well have given me the keys to the city. An immaculate conversation starter. So yeah, we chat for a little bit, and eventually I managed to drag them over to the bar where we can continue. I do most of the talking, but I honestly couldn't tell you a single word of what I said because the whole time, all I could think about was how much I wanted to kiss them. And yeah, that's the end of the story. For now, at least. But, um, the one question I like to ask people after I tell them this story is, uh, do you think I was being too forward in that scenario, or was I showing just the right amount of interest? Like, if you were in the same situation, Hypothetically, of course. Yeah, I agree. You know, some people say that I was being too antsy, and you, you're not supposed to let them know how head over heels you are right away. You gotta lead them on like a fish on a string, but it's nice to know that somebody feels the same way. 
or that we share the same opinion. Um, I lied, actually. There is one more follow-up question. Would it be alright if I, if I kissed you? I just, I really want to. Yeah? Okay. Come closer. It's okay. Don't be scared. shoot. I just remembered I have to make a quick stop at the laundromat for classified reasons. But, um, would you mind coming with? I need somebody strong to take this shirt off for me. Alright, let's get out of here. You're coming with me, cutie. <laughs>